Hello everyone, welcome back to another Computer Sluggish video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Minecraft crashing, freezing and not launching on your Windows 10 or 11 computer. So the first way that we're going to resolve these issues is by using a program that I created called Easy Gamer Utility, or EGU for short. So to download this program, all you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and then either download the portable version or the setup file version. Now once you've run the program, you will end up with a screen or window that looks like this. So this is the program. The first thing that you're going to want to do is select the clean tab and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're then going to want to click on clean next to your graphics card. So I've got an NVIDIA graphics card, so I will want to go clean next to NVIDIA and then go OK. And this is now going to remove all the cache files for my NVIDIA graphics card. The next thing that we're going to now want to do is go across to the Fix tab. You are now going to see an option that says Minecraft. So you do need to run Easy Gamer Utility as an administrator for this to work. So if you haven't done so already, just close down the program, find it within your start menu, so you can see it's here at the top, right click onto it, go to more, and then go run as administrator. Once you've run it as an administrator, go back to the fix tab, and you can now click on fix next to Minecraft. Now this is going to run through a few different troubleshooting methods, and it will hopefully fix Minecraft and get it open again, so you can now sign back into the Minecraft launcher and start enjoying the game. So that's the easiest and fastest way to fix Minecraft. You do get free attempts, so that's free, not as in free as in the word, but you get free attempts at fixing Minecraft on the free version of EGU, or if you have the pro version, then it's unlimited attempts. So other ways of fixing Minecraft not working, so if that didn't work, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is close down Easy Gamer Utility, and we now want to right click on the start menu icon and then go to settings. You then need to click on update and security and you then need to click on check for updates. You need to ensure that you have the latest updates installed for your Windows computer. You did just see there, oh there we go, there's actually an optional quality update available. So download and install that as well if you do have the option to install a optional update. Once you've installed all the latest updates for Windows, restart your computer and then try launching Minecraft again and see if that helped. Okay, so if updating Windows didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the start menu and type in store. You now need to select the Microsoft Store. And once the Microsoft Store has opened, you need to select library and you're then going to want to click on update all. Go ahead and click on get updates as well, just to see if there are any new updates for Minecraft and then click on the update all option. So I'm gonna close this down because for some reason the Microsoft Store takes ages to do updates. Oh, there we go, it's actually quite quick today. But yeah, so let's just go update all and leave that running. Once it's finished updating everything within the store, restart your computer again and then see if it resolved the issue that you're having. So another thing to do when trying to play Minecraft on your computer is also ensure you have everything closed. So if you have a web browser open, you have Discord open, or anything like that, a music player, make sure it's all closed down and then try launching Minecraft, as one of these programs could be conflicting with the game, causing it to crash. That also brings me onto other things that can cause the game to crash, such as um, devices plugged into your computer. So if you've got a USB controller or a USB stick or a headset, something like that plugged into your computer, unplug everything from the USB ports except for your mouse and keyboard as believe it or not they could also be conflicting with the game causing it to crash giving it a hardware issue. So hardware issues that now brings me on to drivers so you're going to want to make sure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card as well. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. You then need to expand display adapter and you will then see your graphics card here. I've got an RTX 4060 which means I need to go to the Nvidia website and download the latest driver for my graphics card. If you have an AMD you need to go to AMD, if you have an Intel go to the Intel website. I will pop some links in the description below to guides that I've done to help you out up 
um, get my words out right here to help you in the process of updating your drivers if you're not sure on how to do this. So now that you've updated your graphics card driver, you've closed everything down, you've unplugged everything from your computer and you've updated Windows, go ahead again and try Minecraft. And obviously you ran Easy Gamer at the start and hopefully that's helped as well as that would have done a few different troubleshooting methods as well. If you're still having issues, then it could be your security software is also causing the issue. So go ahead and either disable your security software or put it into a game or passive mode. So it depends on what security software you have, depends on how you can do this. So I won't be able to show you unfortunately, as I don't have Norton, AFAS, McAfee, all the security software installed on my computer. But go ahead and search online to see how you can do it. Just remember if you do decide to disable your security software, you might not be protected from security threats while it's disabled. So if none of that's helped, fix Minecraft, then the next thing that we're going to want to do is open up the start menu and type in disk. And you're then going to want to select disk cleanup. You then need to select your C drive and go OK. You now need to find the DirectX shader cache option. And if there's anything else in here that you're happy to remove, then remove it as well. But we're just basically focusing on DirectX. So select DirectX and then go OK and then go delete files. And that's just going to remove the DirectX shader cache. So this can also help fix issues when games and software aren't working. Once this is finished cleaning, go ahead and try the game again and see if it helped. Now the next thing that you need to do if you're using the Java version of Minecraft is click on the Java link that's in the description below and it will take you to a website that looks like this. You now need to click on download Java and once the file's downloaded, go ahead and run the .exe. You then need to agree to the terms if you do click on install and this is now going to install the latest version of Java onto your computer. Once it's finished installing, Again, restart your computer and then try launching Minecraft again, obviously the Java version. And hopefully this will resolve any crashing, freezing and other issues you're having with the game. So you can see it's now installed on my computer, so I'd go ahead and restart. If you're still having issues with Minecraft, then the next thing that I'd suggest is try using a different user profile on your Windows computer. So if you haven't already created another user account, go ahead and create another user account, ensure that it's an administrator account, and then try Minecraft on that user profile. If it works, then you know it's a setting on your current user profile that's causing the game to crash and not work. So again, it could be a program, a service, or something that's running on your computer causing that issue. So I also want to just quickly say on Easy Gamer Utility, once you have done the fix, you will then be able to go onto the backup folder. And if you do have any Minecraft saved data, then you will be able to retrieve it from this folder here. All your saved data will be within the backup folder. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.